Hey, my name is Mr. Oktosh. I am a teacher at a high school, public school. Um, and our next project we're gonna be working on is gonna be using the Makey Makey. It's a resistive touch microcontroller that you can use with Scratch. Um, I need to make artwork. I'm gonna have my students make artwork and it needs to use conductive paint. Uh, the only problem is conductive paint on the internet is kind of expensive. So I've been experimenting making my own, uh, and this is what I found. Um, I used three different mediums uh, to make the paint. I tried tempera uh, paint, which is a water-based paint, acrylic, uh, which is a plastic-based paint, and glue is the different sub, uh, substrates, the different mediums. Uh, the biggest ingredient is always the graphite. Graphite is conductive uh, when you have enough of it and it's what they use in the manufactured uh, conductive paints. Um, so I first tried two to one using acrylic. Um, and when I do that, you can see that it goes from red to pretty dark black. I had, so this is the input and this is the ground. So when I do that, let's turn it up. Uh, it totally works. Uh, the only problem is when I do two to one with a graphite, it gets very, very thick and it uses a lot of graphite. Graphite is, this powder is very light in density, so I end up using a lot of it, uh, which is not preferable. Uh, the next one I tried was tempera. Uh, tempera, the water-based paint. The green, you can see it kept the green pretty well. Um, when I used the tempera, I did four to one. Uh, so four tempera, one graphite. And you can see I have no reacting. Um, I can test the circuit by touching the uh, metal con connector. So the connector works, but the conductive paint does not. Um, when I did a slightly thicker line and it was a little bit thinner, I did have some results. I had some results yesterday, not working now. But the rest of these 10 to 1, uh, not enough graphite. And 4 to 1 was just barely cutting it. Uh, when I was trying it the other day. So, on the other side, I did more experiments. Uh, down here, I did acrylic, uh, three to one. So three uh, grams of acrylic to one gram of graphite. So I can test the circuit. Circuit works. And I would say it works about halfway through. You can see where it got a little bit streaky and a little bit thinner. It doesn't work quite as well, especially towards the end. Uh, and when I'm using it with my students, I don't really want this to happen. I want it to work all the time. And when I do the thinner line, it doesn't work at all. Um, so my only options would be to go back up to two to one or try a different medium. So I try the tempera. The tempera is the water-based paint. And I had it working before. I think as it dries, it gets a little bit. Yep. So I had to dig in the connectors just a little bit. So you can see it works just up to this area. And when I get to the end, it doesn't work quite as well. Uh, one of the problems I had with this is it gets very dusty because this is water-based paint. Um, it doesn't really hold on to the pigment. It doesn't hold on to the graphite. Uh, and it kind of kicks it up. So if I'm going to have students presenting their artwork and having other students touch it, I think having dirty hands isn't preferable. Um, I did another test. I tried doing the acrylic 3 to 1 again to see if I would get anything to work out of it. And it works uh, all the way through. Um, when you use acrylic 3 to 1, uh, yeah, you got to make it really thick. But what I had the most, most, most success with is using glue. Uh, glue seems to work all the time and even when you spread it really thin, which is different from the tempera and the acrylic. When those go thin, they don't work quite as well. I have a feeling that the acrylic, because it's made of a, has plastic in it, uh, that when it seals the graphite in, it's not able to get it to go in. So this is glue, three to one, so three grams of glue to one gram of graphite. And it works all the way down the line. So even when I do a very thin line, 
still works. Um, I tried making a paper stencil to make this little touchpad over here. So the line goes from here all the way to the touchpad. Still works. And it goes for a long distance because I can touch from this connector to the touchpad and from that connector to the end of the line. Still makes a great connection. Um, and then I tested, I took my paintbrush, I mixed my uh, glue and graphite mixture with a little bit of water to get it uh, flowing a little bit better. And I just kept trying to make these three lines until they got uh, thinner and thinner. So I wasn't sure that this was going to work, having this really, really thin line. But having this line really thin, oh, doesn't work. Too thin. Uh, I think when it was wet when I was testing it, or when it was curing, it was working a little bit better. You can see these thin lines are not working. But this definitely works. As long as it's opaque, uh, it's able to carry the, the, the current through and sense that it's completing a circuit. Uh, that's it. Uh, my conclusion, glue uh, 3 to 1 was the best mixture to make conductive paint. Uh, and the best part is uh, it's, it doesn't rub off as easy. It doesn't give off the, the graphite as easy. Uh, so this is the tempera rubbing back and forth, and this is the glue, which is m much better. All right, that's it.